It's Miss Barbara back with another picture book to read aloud. This book is called The Little Red Fort. The writer is Brenda Meyer, and the pictures are by Sonia Sanchez. I chose this book because March is Women's History Month, and there are a lot of resources right now on my website about Women's History Month, a lot of other books and links to read alouds. Um, so I chose this book. It's about this girl on the front. Her name is Ruby. She is a very can-do person. We will meet also her mom and her grandma as they all work together. Open the book up. We see the end papers. There she is. Make it something. Our title page looks like this. And here's our story. Ruby's mind was always full of ideas. One day, she found some old boards wants to help me build something, she asked her brothers. Oscar Lee pretended not to hear her. Rodrigo gave her a look that could melt popsicles. Jose almost fell off the fence. You don't know how to build anything, they said. Ruby shrugged. Then I'll learn. And she did. wants to help me draw the plans, Ruby asked. The boys clutched their sides and howled with laughter. Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll draw them myself. And she did. That must be her dad there, I think. Satisfied with her plans, Ruby asked, Who wants to help me gather the supplies? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll gather them myself. And she did. This, I'm guessing, is her mom, who also seems to like to make stuff. She's got her tools there. When all the supplies were gathered, Ruby asked, Who wants to help me cut the boards? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. Too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll cut them myself. And she did. Looks like her mom is helping her a bit, which is a good idea. When all the boards were neatly cut, Ruby sang, Who wants to help me hammer in the nails? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll hammer them myself. And she did. So there's Ruby. This is Mom, I think. And this is even her grandma. They're all working together to hem the nails. Soon, Ruby's creation was complete. Who wants to play in my fort, she called. Me, me, said Oscar Lee. Let's go, said Rodrigo. I'll play, said Jose. I'm not busy anymore. Not so fast, Ruby said. You didn't help me draw the plans, or gather the supplies, or cut the boards, or hammer the nails. You said I didn't know how to build, and you laughed at me. I'm going to play in the fort by myself. And she did. We didn't want to play anyway the boys said, but they did. So, they huddled, whispered, and got straight to work. Oscar Lee made a mailbox, Rodrigo planted flowers, Jose painted the fort, fire engine red, Ruby was delighted. That evening, the boys
voice followed a delicious aroma to a fort-warming party. Who wants to help me clean this plate? Ruby asked. Maybe you know that expression when you eat something all up, you say that you've cleaned the plate. We do, the boys said. And they did. We get one more picture. Build a fort of your own. These are some very neat um, ideas for homemade forts. There's the sofa fort. You can take the couch cushions and create a fort with those. This is the kitchen chair fort. The chairs, the backs of the chairs are there and they're, they're tall, so you can put the sheet or a blanket or something like that and create a spot inside there. The stove fort, that doesn't work for us. But the bunk bed fort, if you happen to have a bunk bed, all you really have to do is hang some sheets down or blankets down and create a spot inside. And something very nice to do in your fort is gather your favorite books, maybe a snack, maybe a pillow, and you can curl up in there and read for a long time. There's an author's note that explains this book is a lot like the story The Little Red Hen. Um, the Little Red Hen is a folk tale, which means people have told it for many, many years. Nobody really knows who started it or when it began. The first picture book version, though, was um, made in 1918, over 100 years ago. So people have been telling this story and versions of it for more than 100 years. That's the end of this version. There's one more picture. There's our end papers. Here we are. And that is the end of the little red fort. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I miss everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. And I look forward to seeing you pretty soon back at the library. Take care. I'll be back with another story in a few days. Thanks.